This is a quick tutorial on how to get logged on to Simple K12. So when you click the login button, it's going to prompt you for a username and password. So your username is going to be your email, and then the default password is the word password, all lowercase. So you put that in, um, and if you've changed your password in the past, you're going to have to go through the forgot password prompt. But either way, if this is your first time, you put your email in here, the word password, I highly suggest clicking Remember Me and clicking Sign In. When you get to Simple K12, the best way to go about it is to peruse the catalog. So here's all the different sections that are, are defined in Simple K12, and if you click into them, it allows you to look through all the different webinars. Now, if you look and you go, okay, um, move all the assessments into the classroom and this is something you want to do you don't have to watch it now what you can do is click add to my content when you're back on your home screen then you click view all my assignments and anything that you added to your content starts to show up here so I suggest going through and just identifying a number of different lessons that you want to watch and kind of getting them all into your content because then at a moment's notice you can just log in quick watch your half hour webinar um, and it's easy and you don't spend a lot of time looking around for content this also tracks your progress so if you hover over your name and click view profile you can click on your transcript and it's going to show you how many hours you've got and then it's going to show you which ones you've done and if you've completed them or not attempted them so it's kind of a, a, a nice way to see what you got um, accomplished so far so like I said, give that simple K-12 a try. Um, there's something for everyone.